Life is messy. It's hard. It's a series of choices in cooperation with Jesus. But at the end of the day, he has, you make choices, he makes bigger ones. You have free will, he is more. Jesus is not meek and mild. In my life, Jesus is a union worker on a backhoe. You know that, oh, pensive Jesus, can you kind of let me in? And the Lord will not let anybody in until you say yes. You have to say yes. Do you know what? I, do you know how many times I've said no to God? Frequent flyer miles would carry me around the world just on my nose, okay? He goes, yep, you said yes once at the cross. Here I come, Brum, right into your life. <laughs> and you all are going, I'm so strong, I'm so divine. I said no, I tied the hands of God. No, you didn't. Because here's how it works. You're going to be led in obedience or you're going to be led by grace that breaks your fingers, people of God. One of the two. <laughs> but he's going to get his way one way or the other, either through honor or dishonor. So stop sweating it. The Western world worries about the will of God. I trust that my God, through the Holy Spirit, will give me the no that I need to hear. He's big enough to stop me. He's done it so many times. So here's the Holy Spirit, the God of all comfort, the God of all truth. He comes, and actually there are three Greek words, and we're, go we're going to land here, end here, and we'll do some ministry. Three Greek words that have to do with the embodiment of the Holy Spirit. He breathes on them and says, receive the Holy Spirit. There's literally a washing and endowing. Then he talks about my word has filled you, or the Holy Spirit is word is in you. It's a whole other word. And then there's this final word where we get baptism from, and he says, wait for the power from on high. You will be fully immersed in the presence. Because up to this point, the power rested on people, didn't reside in people. The power comes from relationship, not just from the fire. Hmm. Hmm. Why do you think revivals go wacko? Why do you think you can see tons of power but no fruit? Because it's how we hijacked it. The Lord wants to empower his people but to resource you in relationship with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And when you live in that tension of him as Father, him as, son, him as friend, and fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we create a much healthier people of God that is a very fruitful people of God. The church did not grow because everyone was drunk. What do you mean? Like they were like, you know, they were all partying for Jesus. The Bible says, wait, they all came running. That was the invitation. The little drunk party got everyone's attention. But that's not how people came to the Lord. It says, and one of the apostles stood up and said, these men are not drunk as you suppose. And he preached. And this Jesus who you crucified, God raised as Lord and Savior. And then they said, it was said, they were cut to the heart. The churches got fixated on signs and wonders and manifestations. It is not the Holy Spirit authoring them. It is your response to the Holy Spirit. I go out in the sun, I burn. I have no pigment in this skin. I look like a lobster in five minutes. I have a friend who can go out is tan. Now, is, is it the sun's fault? No, it's my reaction to the sun. That is what manifestations are. It is your response to the Holy Spirit. It is not the Holy Spirit inside you like some Frankenstein zombie going, here, move this way, move that way. Oh, it's just the Holy Spirit. No, it's not. It's your response to the Holy Spirit. And I'm cool with that. But then you put it in the context of teaching and the life of the church. So can we be a fully Trinitarian people invited into the intimacy to live in the comfort and the truth and the power of the Holy Spirit, to walk in friendship with Jesus, and to be under the fathering and mothering of God? And when the church gets into the center of that place, we will have all authority that Jesus has talked about. The gifts are not about power. The gifts are about grace. The Bible says, by the grace given to you, prophesy. So if you want more gifting, guess what you need to ask more of? Grace. Ask for more grace. Don't ask for more power. So can we be the people and the family of God? Can we get over ourselves and get over our errors and get over our stupidity and live in the relationship with the Trinity and one with another. He gives us the power to live in healthy relationship with each other. So this morning, what I'm going to do here as we land, and you guys can do whatever it is you all do, 
Um, <clears throat> I want to pray. I want to invite the power of the Spirit.